A little more than 40 years ago, a good biblical number, the renowned historian Yosef Chaim Yerushalmi wrote a little book. The book is called Zachor, Jewish Memory, Jewish History, and Jewish Memory. And the book is all about the difference in our tradition and, in fact, in life between history and memory. He says it's true that the Bible tells you over and over and over again to remember things, but the biblical appeal to remember has little to do with curiosity about the past. Israel is told that it must be a kingdom of priests and a holy people. Nowhere is it suggested that it become a nation of historians. And in fact, Yerushalmi says, I'm a peculiar figure in Jewish story. This idea of a historian who tries to find out exactly what happened because that's not the way Jewish memory works. The rabbis, he said, to use memory like an accordion, they expand it sometimes. Events that happened here turn out to be longer than they really were. Others turn out to be shorter than they really were. But it isn't about going back and investigating the past and trying to determine the facts of it. We're trying to determine the feeling of it, the memory of it. When it says in the Bible, you should ask your ancestors and you should tell your descendants, it doesn't talk about, well, we were at this latitude and this longitude and it was this hour of the day. That's not what matters. No, you should tell them, we all stood at Sinai, even though in terms of history, we couldn't have stood at Sinai. Yerushalmi says, you take the matzah and you say, this is the bread of affliction. And he says, no, it's not. This is the matzah you bought at the supermarket last week. It's not the bread of affliction, but that's history. That's not memory. In memory, something could have happened 1,000 years ago and happened today, 3,000 years ago and happened today. That's what memory is. Memory enables things to keep happening. And you know that this actually accords with what we have discovered about memory. Memories are much more constructed than we used to know. Which is why so often you'll get a family together and one of them will say, no, it happened this way, and the other one will say, no, it happened that way, and they'll say, I'm sure, I remember. But in fact, memory experts tell us that what you remember is the last time you remembered that thing, not the actual original event, which means all of us are remembering people who remember to remember to remember to remember who remembered Sinai in this long chain of memory that is always slightly shifting and moving because some things will be more important to one generation and some to another, and because we all have to build these memories together. And what is true as a Jewish people is true as Jewish individuals. On Shavuot, when we remember the giving of the Torah at Sinai, not when we historically investigate it, but when we remember it. We also remember the people whom we've lost at the Yisker service. And what is it that we mourn? We don't mourn the person who was born in 1928 and grew up in Roxbury, Massachusetts. I mourn my father. I mourn the person in memory, not in history. The particulars of someone's life, that's not what tears at our hearts when we remember those we have lost. It's our memory 
It's the things that can't get put in the history books. It's the way someone felt, the way they spoke to us, the way they smelled when they held us at night, the lullabies they sang, the encouragement they gave, the promises they made, the memories they leave. Yerushalmi is correct about the reason why Judaism has survived, and it's the reason why those who we love survive. We are the first people in history, he said, that wrote its sacred history, but we didn't write our history, we wrote our sacred history. So for everybody we mourn, there are lots and lots and lots of things that we don't think about, that we forget about. That's not what matters. For everybody we mourn, we have a sacred history. Those moments and memories that represent who they were to us, what they meant in our lives. Those moments, like standing at Sinai, that shaped us as a people and as individuals. Zahor, remember, says Yerushalmi, quoting our tradition. And it doesn't mean research and dates, those things are important and they matter, but that's not Yisker. That's not memory, that's history. Memory is what we hold in our souls and in our hearts. Memory is the image of those we love that arises in our minds when we rise to remember them. Memory is the gift of permanence. It's the bloom of love.